I do think that a lot of advice taken at face value can be bad advice because a lot of advice is nuanced and based on your situations and what specific way you're using it and how you're interpreting it, you could use it wrong and be using it in the wrong way. I'll give you one example and we'll call it a day. Um, there's many other examples. Uh, use this as a model to um, basically have a grain of salt and be a little skeptical when you take advice. So here's how it goes. Um, there's advice out there that says the more you give, the more you get. Or uh, if you want to get money, you want to give more money. And giving is actually a very common theme in a lot of books. In terms of uh, finance books on making more money, in terms of uh, spirituality books, in terms of happiness books, and on and on and on. And I do think, you know, generally speaking, it's true, but this is a bit of a uh, bad piece of advice depending on how you apply it. Uh, again, it really depends on your situation and so forth. So again, all this blanket statement advice can go really wrong. For instance, think of the man, and there's plenty of people out there like this. It's not everyone, but think of the guy, the, the nice guy who because of how he was brought up and how he was naturally and whatever other reason he was the doormat and he always tried to please others before himself and again you know I see it all the time I do think I have a bit of this myself um, you know it, it could come from a lot of sources it could just be a big uh, one of the big sources may just be how you were raised by your parents and they always demand this of you and that of you and you growing up wanting to be a great person a great child or a, um, a role model you try and make your parents happy and it seems like the right thing to do and then over time you get to a point where they're demanding so much not really praising you or rewarding you for it or you just end up in a situation where you try and please everyone and you place yourself last in priority and you try and please everyone what happens when you do this you can't please anyone everyone and when you find out you can't please everyone you can end up in situations where first off you, you end up very unhappy and second off you end up um, overextending yourself and hurting your own health your own emotional stability what really matters to you, what's really valuable to you, and certain core tenets or pillars of happiness because you've sacrificed these for other people. Again, okay, this can come in many different forms. One example would be a man who has chosen a career pathway that he absolutely hates, despises, and makes him very unhappy, but he has devoted himself to doing this and pursuing this, whatever it is. Uh, lawyer or um, doctor or whatever it is and he's just miserable 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 but he's doing it because that is what is expected of him and that is what will make his parents or someone else happy and so again uh, the point being you can get you know this advice generally speaking can work but in certain situations certain perspectives not so much and I think that's a very vital point that people don't realize. And um, I do think the advice in general, give, the more you give, the more you get, in certain ways is very valuable in, if you understand them in the right context and what they apply for. In terms of maybe understanding what how money works and how currency works and how it's a value exchange system. And maybe something like um, in terms of happiness. If you understand the psychology of happiness and the science behind it, you may understand why spending your money to help others um, or giving your time or energy and effort to help others or make them happier or better off can in certain situations depending on how you do it make you more happy or fulfilled or both in the long run again it doesn't always play into it so I think this is a very important point because again just blindly giving and just doing all the stuff can set you up for a lot of disaster and um, in this specific example and case um, you know people may think 
that what they want is right and what they want of you is what may make you happy. Sometimes they're just selfish and they don't even care about your happiness and they're just doing this for their own selfish reasons. But other times, your loved ones or uh, your friends, they have their own agendas or they have their own plans that they think is ideal, that they think is what will um, make you happy and fulfilled and successful and all these things and they could be wrong. Humans can be wrong. So understanding this and understanding how you should not just constantly give, give, give and uh, understanding all this and taking action on it properly can be very useful. So long story short, you know, take advice with a grain of salt and the right amount of salt is a tough thing to do because again, um, you know, for you as an individual, it's very tough to determine, well, am I being too skeptical? And is this mainly good advice that I am not taking because I'm the rebellious child? And if I don't take this and I, I go along this path, will I end up horrendously screwed up one day and uh, potentially uh, in a complete mess starving on the streets and wishing I had taken the advice or on the flip side of the extreme um, if I do take this advice will I be many years down the line completely uh, regretful of it because it has not really done what the people who gave me the advice thought it would happiness fulfillment wealth whatever and I believe it's not such an extremist view on either end. Um, you're probably not going to end up starving or homeless or dead because of this. Um, and so I do think, you know, finding that middle ground and having a logical, clear conscious um, and figuring out who you can trust and who you can consult with and get an objective view without bias and so forth can be very valuable in determining your proper decisions. There's this great book, it's called Think and Grow Rich, and one of the chapters, uh, the advice it gives in it is, is pretty much make sure you are very cautious and careful who you confide in and consult with when you are making big decisions. Because even the people that you think you can trust, family, loved ones, friends, they have their own agendas, their own opinions, and they are oftentimes flawed and they don't really know what's right and oftentimes they have their own agendas and biases in their opinions and they may lead you wrong intentionally or unintentionally because of that. So they said that the book says if you want to consult with anyone in terms of making big decisions, you consult with your mastermind group. And what this is is basically this group of individuals that you truly um, can confide in and you really respect and you know that they are exceptional exceptional individuals that you are know are uh, very good in the fields that you are uh, working on so that's really what I want to say in a nutshell you know take things with a bit of salt be a little bit skeptical and understand the right way of doing things think of um, people who have made proper decisions and that's all I gotta say thanks for watching